today's video, I'm going to be trying out some of Etude House's new makeup products. A lot of these I picked up recently in Korea. By the way, I would like to point out, Etude House is always coming out with new products. It's super hard to keep up, but I feel like I picked up a lot of new products or, you know, some products that I haven't tried yet that have been out. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do like a get ready with me kind of thing slash first impressions slash chatty kind of videos so we're just gonna kind of see how this goes so i'm gonna apply on my sunscreen i'm trying to finish this i woke up like this protective base sunscreen okay got my protection on my skin and my shoulders and my neck so hmm how should i do this i guess i'll start with my eyes because i want to let the sunscreen kind of set on my skin so let me go and zoom you guys in a little bit so this is not a new Etude House product, but this is new-ish to me. Um, this is the Eyebrow Contouring Multi-Pencil. I think Soho Glam sent this to me. Anyways, um, it's kind of like a, uh, the tip is kind of like a heart shape, which that's gonna be really hard for you guys to see. I'll, I'll probably do some close-ups. What is this side? Ooh, little baby mascara. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, uh-oh. I got it jammed. Okay. I really like eyebrow pencils that are more fine because I just like to reshape my eyebrows a little bit. Like, I don't necessarily do this to fill in my eyebrows. I just kind of add a teeny tiny bit of shape because you may or may not know, my eyebrows are microbladed, which is why they pretty much look done. Oops. <laughs> I was like doing so good on my right eyebrow and then I went to my left and I just screwed that up. Okay, so eyebrows filled in. Of course, I'm going to use my Etude House Proof 10 Eye Primer. I thought I'd kind of try and stick with the theme here and do like a full face Etude House almost. I think that I have a couple products in here that you guys can see about with my little box lid. <laughs> these are something that I picked up last time I was in Korea. I was really excited about these because the colors are beautiful. And there are two different lines here. So these are eyeshadows from the new Cashmere Fit line and the Satin Fit line. For my eyeshadow color, I'm going to use this Blanc Moscato on my eyelid. I had higher expectations for these eyeshadows personally. Um, a lot of these are kind of hit or miss. And in all honesty, the Satin ones are definitely better than the Cashmere ones. I'll go ahead and do a Cashmere one. This is kind of like a, a muted gray color matte, and this is in the color Espresso Compana. Um, I, I realized that like with Korean beauty, eyeshadow is not necessarily like at the forefront of your makeup look. It's more supposed to be kind of subtle, which makes sense with their formulations, but these are just kind of, in general, hard to work with. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty dang muddy, and it's just not going on very smoothly, so. I definitely wouldn't necessarily recommend these cashmere ones. Now, like I mentioned earlier, some of them are better than others, but for the most part, um, if I were to have done this over again, I probably would have skipped on these eyeshadows because they're just nothing impressive to me, which is a shame too, because at Two Towels, I actually usually really like their single eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and use another cashmere one. This is in the color Roasted Coffee Cherry. By the way, you guys really like this background. So if you guys, I don't actually know if I showed this on my Instagram stories or if I even showed you guys, but um, I totally changed up the layout of my office. So as you can see, that color a lot better than the last one. So totally changed up the layout of my office. So now it's more effective for filming. I'm more efficient in this kind of layout. And I recently picked up like a backdrop folder. So this Look how professional I am, you guys. This is actually like a backdrop, so I can change this out with like fabric that I buy. So this is just a particular fabric. Honestly, when I bought it, I thought, they're gonna hate this, this is too much going on, too much geometricness. But you guys like this. Like, you're, I, I'm reading a lot of the comments and a lot of you guys have said it's one of your favorite backgrounds, so I like it, I dig it. So, I guess next I'm going to go ahead and try out this one. This is a satin. Uh, formula and this is Real Vin Chaud, which is kind of like an eggplanty purple color. Again, I've always really liked these type of colors. They're super pretty. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and 
put it a little bit on the outer V. Finally, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. This one is actually something I was pleasantly surprised with because I did swatch this in store. This is a cashmere fit eyeshadow and the shade is long black. And for being a matte black eyeshadow, this one's actually pretty dang good. <laughs> so this is the look that I came up with. Um, I'll go ahead and do some swatches of the other colors that I have because I think I skipped like using three of them. I think I used five out of the eight I have. So I'll do some close-up swatches so you guys can kind of see what the rest of the shades look like. As far as eyeliner goes, these are also new from Etude House. I picked up two shades. I think there was like six, eight different shades that they had available, but I really like that they had unique colors, which Etude House is really good at doing. So these are the Super Slim Proof Pencil Liner Gel. Um, I got this burgundy shade, which is in wine burgundy. <laughs> and then I also got this like lavender shade, which is in pung pung lavender. So I'm going to take this burgundy color and I, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and kind of, hmm, how am I going to incorporate this? Let me do this first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes very quickly with a little bit of black eyeliner. I don't know, do I have a black? liquid liner from Etude House. This is my eyeliner, which is clearly super efficient. Like I can find things very quickly, huh? <laughs> mm. I know, oh, here's a black one. I'll do a Play 101 Ugh, black. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to that burgundy color again. And actually what I like to do is I kind of like to do it along my lower lash line with the burgundy. As you can see, it just glides right into my waterline, so I actually really like these two. Next, I'm gonna do that Pung Pung Lavender, and I'm just gonna kind of line it on the top, right above where I have that black. And like I said, this line had like a lot of really, oops. I just broke the tip off on my eye. Okay. What do you guys think? Kinda different, right? Can you see that lavender above the black? Okay, I'm cheating here a little bit because I know it's supposed to be a one brand, but to be completely honest, I don't really care for Etude House mascaras. There have been none that I've been really impressed with. So I'm just gonna use a mascara that I've had open, and also I don't wanna open a new mascara. Eee, okay, now that I've got my mascara on, I'm done with the eyes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face stuff. So I'm actually really excited about this. I'm not really sure. I'm either gonna really like this or really not like this. This is the Glow On Oil Volume Base, and of course it's the one that has like the little gold looking, I don't think they're actually gold, little yellow <laughs> particles in it. So I'm trying not to disturb my sunscreen underneath, so let me just kind of flop it on. I'm definitely gonna have to test this out a little bit more. This is not a new product, but it's new for me because I've never tried it. And also, speaking of not new products, but I wanted to try it, I recently picked up the Double Lasting Foundation. Um, this has been out for, I want to say like a year now. It's been out for quite some time. But they recently came out with new shades. So I bought the shade Amber, number 07, which I'm pretty sure is the darkest shade. Um, I, I want to say I'm probably about an NC30. I don't think I'm a 35, maybe I'm a 35, I don't know. In MAC foundations, kind of in that ballpark. I haven't checked it, gone and had my skin tone checked in a while, but usually I'm like a shade 23, a little bit darker now that it's been hot and the sun's kind of unavoidable. But yeah, <laughs> long tangent there. So a little bit like, come on guys, can we get some uh, darker foundations out here so I'm not running around with mismatched foundation? And I know there's a lot of you guys that wanna try foundations too from Korean beauty brands and they just don't have the shades available. So, but in general, I just have been wanting to try this foundation because I hear it's pretty good and I love me some high coverage foundations. This is kind of thick. Maybe a good way. I'm gonna need like a pump and a half for my face, I think. Cause it's setting also kind of quickly. Handy dandy air puffs. You guys know how much I love these. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. I just wash all my air puffs too, so they're all nice and clean. Actually, this matches my skin really well. I know it's kind of hard to see because since my face is closest to the light, um, it usually kind of 
reflects back towards you guys, but this is actually a pretty dang good match for me. Okay, so this is new from Etude House. This is the Big Cover Concealer Pro Pot. Um, I really like concealers, I'm kind of weird. I got this in the shade Sand. So again, the darkest shade that they have. It's a little light for me. So now that I've got that on, let me just go ahead and puff it onto my skin. It's definitely a bit too light for me. I would have preferred something slightly darker, but it works for under the eyes if you're trying to brighten. And the formula is a little dry on my skin. Um, I have dry skin, so concealers are usually I have a hard time finding concealers, in all honesty, that I really like because my skin's dry, so it just emphasizes every little crack or, you know, fine line that I have. And I'm not really impressed with that coverage, so I'd probably say pass on it just initially. Of course, I'll try it out a little bit longer and see how it goes. Now for my powder, um, I'm gonna use the Zero Sebum Drying Powder. I am pretty sure this is essentially the same thing as like the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Um, a lot of brands actually have these type of powders now. I mean, you can pretty much find them in every single Korean beauty store and company. Um, but, you know, for the sake of keeping it one brand. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> then for my bronzer slash contour, I'm gonna use Play 101 Stick. This is the Play 101 Stick. <laughs> I like this actually a lot. I really like this this contour side, especially for my nose, which in all honesty, I don't contour my nose that often. Just when I'm feeling fancy. Which evidently is today. <laughs> and then, handy dandy hair pop. <laughs> so for my blush, this is another area that I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use the MAC um, pink Spoon Sheer Tone Blush. Alrighty, and then last but not least, I think these are the last products that I'm gonna be trying that are new from Etude House, or at least new to me. These are actually new. These are the Color and Liquid Lips. These are the Mousse formulation. So I'm gonna go ahead and try both of these on. I have two shades here, so I guess I'll try this one because I think it's lighter. Um, this is in the shade PK001. I actually really like the... How's that for a sound effect? <laughs> the color and liquid lips uh, formulas in general. So let's see how this goes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, they smell like, oh, like lifesavers, like candy. I think that's a really pretty color. As far as the feeling of it on my lips, um, it's actually very lightweight. I would say a mousse is a great way to explain how this feels. Um, not really much to say about it. It feels pretty good on my dry lips. It doesn't feel too drying. I actually like that it's kind of like a soft matte type of look. But yeah, that's what PK001 looks like. And then, of course, let me go ahead and wipe that off so I can go ahead and try on that other color for you on my lips. So that's what it looks like wiped off. So it did stain a teeny tiny bit. This shade is in RD301. Kind of like a vampy. Color. Ooh. So that's what a gradient look with that looks like. It's very pretty. I like this color a lot. It's probably my favorite out of the two. Alright guys, so I think that is everything. I wanted to sit down and just try a bunch of makeup on with you guys from Etude House because like I said, they are constantly coming out with new collections and lines. Even since I picked these products up, which was like a week and a half ago till now lots of new stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this video link for my jewelry will be down in the description box as it always is and so you guys can check it out there's the jewelry that I pretty much wear every day as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys